The Jacksonville Science Festival is an interactive hands on free event led by students and driven by science. So here to speak more about the event is Aries and Jaslyn, who are Jacksonville Science Festival participants. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thanks for joining Hi. us. OK, so before we get into when and where it is, I have to ask, what is this? So this is a tornado in a box. It was made by students who are going to be um, showing it during the Jacksonville Science Festival. Mm -hmm. um, these slots on the side, right here and right here, okay. they're all on the right-hand corner of each side. Okay. It causes the air to drift in and cause the... The vortex. Yeah, the swirl for the oh, tornado. And then the so fan cool. on the top is the thing that's sucking the air up or okay. the... Um, is that dry ice? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do we have a little bit more? Because it's kind of hard to see on the on the camera. Okay, we've got Victor here. He's going to add a little bit more for us. So who came up with the idea to do this? Is this y'all's experiment? Or are you just kind of showcasing this? We're just showcasing okay, this. Okay, so. This is a student's experiment who made this whole thing. That is so cool. Now, did y'all have a theme for, the, like, did they have a weather theme? Or did you guys just kind of get to do whatever you wanted? Kind of like whatever we wanted. That's it's awesome. Like, based off of what our teacher had us do or okay. what the like what they wanted us to aim more towards. Yeah. So did you are you both participating this year? Yes. Okay, yes. so what did y'all do? My group is mainly focused on women in space, about oh, cool. the history of women, what they did and the future of where they're going. Oh, that's wonderful. And did you did you learn a lot coming up with the research for this? Yes. And what what was like the coolest thing you learned? The coolest thing I learned from history was that we originally were going to go to the moon, but President Kennedy stopped us from going. Interesting. Okay, and then what about you, Jocelyn? Um, my group is about orcas and what's, and what's hindering them from hunting. Okay, and what did you learn or think was the most the coolest thing? We learned that the thing that's actually hindering the orcas is the fact that all the pollution and all of the... Um, microplastics in the waters what's causing them almost to be extinct. Oh my gosh. So how do you how do you showcase that then? Because this seems kind of easy to show, right? How do you make a tornado in a box? Me and my Although friend. it probably was a little challenging, right, to kind of come up with how do you pull in the air here. But how do y'all showcase what you are talking about? Because it kind of seems hard to like show that off. Um, so what does your experiment look like, I guess? So my group we're gonna we were going to be like so my my teammate who's like a pretty great artist she was going to make a model of an orca that's like I this see. size or something and we were going to split it into what body part it is and oh, where the cool. plastics ingesti getting ingested by the orca oh that's wonderful so okay that would really highlight how it's like getting in there and it's where it's them. affecting and then what about you my group we're going to match the person the historical historical woman right to her information and then they have a diy constellation where you can make your own little constellation oh my gosh interactive that's really cool all right so when and where is this it's at florida state college at jacksonville florida okay south Okay. On April 11th and 12th. April 11th and 12th. At 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Is this open to anybody to come in? Yes. yes. Oh, really? Awesome. Okay. So where can we get more information on it then? At JacksonvilleScienceFestival.org. All right. Easy enough. How cool is this? Thank you guys for bringing this interactive and really cool uh, science experiment. I, I mean, as a meteorologist, I find that very fascinating. And I didn't even know about this, like, contraption. I d growing up, I did the one with the two liter <laughs> bottles, and you had to shake, put them together and shake it, and it created that little vortex. But anyway, uh, good luck with everything, and uh, congratulations, because, I mean, I know you're, you guys are doing great things. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. David?